Good morning to you. I'm Teo Torres. We start with that breaking news out of Sacramento, where we are following reports of a deadly crash that is blocking the El Camino Avenue on ramp to business 80. KCR 3's Brian Hickey is live on scene for us this morning with what we know. Brian. Hey, morning, Teo. And the overcrossing over uh, Cap City Freeway is also closed. You can see behind me here all of El Camino Avenue shut down in both directions due to this fatal crash that was reported around 2.30 this morning. We'll show you some of the video here from the scene. Uh, we've got two vehicles involved here, one of them a minivan. The initial report suggests that it rolled off of the overcrossing and down into the field in the center of the cloverleaf there where you would access westbound Cap City Freeway or the southbound side of Cap City Freeway, I should say, from westbound El Camino Avenue. The second vehicle is a white sedan that's actually crashed right at the entrance to the on-ramp to southbound Cap City Freeway. Also with heavy damage on that vehicle. Unfortunately, one person uh, is deceased at the, at the scene here uh, at the minivan. We did see one victim uh, there that uh, paramedics did try life-saving measures, but it wasn't enough. The, uh, that person did die here at the scene, and that is why right now they have this area shut down as they conduct this investigation. What appears to be two vehicles involved in the collision, one at the top of the ramp, one at the bottom of the ramp, uh, with what appeared to be rollover damage to that minivan where it came to rest down at the bottom of the ramp. So right now, back out here live, you can see all of El Camino Avenue is shut down over Cap City Freeway. If you are heading westbound on El Camino Avenue, you can access the northbound side of Cap City Freeway, and that's it. If you're heading east on El Camino Avenue, you can get onto southbound Cap City Freeway, like this vehicle right here. You can see getting onto the uh, the eastbound, uh, excuse me, southbound side of Cap City Freeway, or what would be westbound Interstate 80 here at that on ramp. So that uh, part does remain open, but everything else is shut down in this area while they conduct this investigation into this fatal crash. It was first reported at 2:30 this morning. Back to you. All right, Brian, we appreciate it. Thank you. Here's a look at the other big stories we're following now. Today, the California Interagency Council on Homelessness will hold its first meeting. The council was created January 1st and replaces the Homeless Coordinating and Financing Council in an effort to prevent homelessness. The goal for the new group is to allow for greater statewide leadership and coordination. They will meet on Zoom at 1 o'clock. Paragary's Midtown Restaurant is offering free COVID PCR testing for the restaurant industry, family and friends. It is happening every Thursday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. The restaurant is located on 28th Street. You can enter the patio on the N Street side. Insurance or appointments are not required. Let's get a check on our forecast now as we head it over to meteorologist Melanie Hunter. Hey, good morning. We're off to a clear start pretty much from north to south across California as high pressure continues to dominate our area and we're going to stay clear throughout the day. While we're clear this morning, that means we're off to a chilly start in Fairfield. Cool start up and down the valley and it's cold if you're waking up in the Sierra. Here's how today is going to go. So we'll be back in the 40s by about 9 o'clock and by noon gradually warming up to the mid to upper 50s. Plenty of sunshine, light wind and most of us should be back in the low 60s today. All right, thank you, and that's what we're following today here on KCRA 3.